This isn't sponsored. Ooh, bitch, that would have been bad if that spilled. <laughs> hey, girl. Hello, Scorpio. My name is Simply Velka, and I'm going to be providing your general reading for this week. And like with any type of general reading, I ask you to rely on your intuition because I like to speak in examples, right? I use analogies to get across the messages of tarot. Um, so I might be using the analogy for like a relationship, for example, Scorpio, but your situation might be pertaining to a work situation. So just keep that in mind. That's what all I ask you to do while receiving the messages from this reading is to just use your intuition and take the cards that resonate with you in the situation that it pertains to you because you know your situation best, right? I ha cannot possibly know everyone's situation and be able to address all the messages for that. So this reading is of resonance to you though and gives you a sense of direction. I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel so much. Um, and let me know which card calls out to you the most and how it pertains to you in your life because I'm nosy. I like to know how my cards are helping, how my readings are helping you in your life. And so I'm going to be pulling three rows for you, Scorpio. Your first row is going to be the energies that you are dealing with and are dealing with currently. Your second row is going to be the blessings and the overall just like energies to come. Um, and your third row is going to be just using the Necronomicon deck. And I love the Necronomicon deck because this is going to be the deck. This is it's, your third row is going to be the row of where we are working on like the suge suggestion from spirit of what you should be working on for this week to receive these blessings in your life because it does me no good to tell you the blessings that are coming without having any idea how to get to them right so uh let's just get started with this right now so for your first row i have the nine of air then sun card archangel uriel equal 19 equaling to one so write that down for numerology scorpio and then the knight of water so i'm going to be showing the cards as i go through them um so we have the nine of air this is kind of just like a this card is just like the card of like in, the embodiment of anxiety really this is like the card of like what am i doing with my life where am i going am i going anywhere have i moved anywhere sort of thing right you're getting your sleepless nights you're just wondering if you're on the right path or not sort of thing um the sun card comes in archangel uriel where it's kind of like i feel like that's the energy of where you're striving to be right you're just kind of wanting success you're just wanting to you're just wanting good things to happen but i feel like that can go for any zodiac sign right it doesn't have to just be for scorpio but i feel like it's connected to the nine of air in the sense of like you're just constantly like you're stressed out trying to figure out like when is the sun going to finally come up for you it feels like the moon has just been out and the sun's been gone for so long for you and you're just wondering when like when is it, when is it going to be your time when is it going to be your time for like maybe like a fruitful connection because the night of water comes in i always associate the night like i always say this the nights i associate with like youthful energy so it's like I feel like for some people, this is kind of like pertaining to like, when am I going to have like this person coming into my life? When am I going to be, you know, whatever your story is, when are you going to, whatever something's new, right? For some people, it's going to be talking about a relationship for other Scorpios. It could be talking about the beginning of like their sudden moment of where it's just like they start experiencing that success, right? Whatever. So let's pull some clarifiers for this first row right now to see if we can get any more information um, regarding this. So, okay, interesting. So I pulled <laughs> very bold cards for y'all. I pulled the lover's card for you. I pulled the fool and I pulled the death card. So a lot of energy, <laughs> a lot of bold energy for your first row of cards of what you're currently dealing with. So let me just break this down of how I'm seeing these cards from my point of view, and then maybe this can help decipher for what's going on in your situation. So when I see the full card, I see the full card and it's on top of your nine of air, which is your, your nine of air is talking about, um, just like your sleepless nights, your purpose, right? So for some people, I feel drawn to say like, maybe you feel like you're like, what you've been doing, you've kind of felt like a fool, perhaps, or you felt like you've kind of just been like, you just been commit, you feel like you've committed for some to something for so long that you feel like hasn't been fruitful um, to like a specific person that just hasn't been long term. Um, you know, whatever your situation is, you just kind of feel like kind of silly for what it is that you've been investing a lot of time in and you feel drawn to have like a death moment because your death card is on top of your sun card and you feel like you need to have like a transformation process you need to bring death to something so you can 
start a new basically start a whole new game plan basically so that way you can get to your son i feel like that's the approach you need like that's the energy that you feel like you need to be um i pulled the new moon in aquarius bring love into the situation very interesting how this card pertains i feel like i'm i don't really feel like going into detail about this i feel like it's just going to call it to the right scorpios um and then you have your lover's card which is just right on top of the nine of water um <laughs> The lover's card represents quite literal, um, but also it also talks about a situation, the need to make a decision. Um, for some people, maybe for some Scorpios, you haven't made the decision to pull the trigger on like the death situation because, well, for whatever reason, what does that look like for you, right? Um, but I feel like it's kind of necessary for you to bring death to a situation or at least death to like a mindset or death to something needs to change to get you to your son. I do feel that much. I feel like you kind of already like we're on the same wavelength in that regard of where I feel like you kind of already know where you need to go. You just haven't been wanting to make that decision. And that's where the lover's card comes in. And then for your other two moon cards that I pulled for you, you make this decision. I know this because it's like you have the full moon in Capricorn and the new moon in Eclipse. Expect a powerful change and a tough cycle. The, the end of a tough cycle is approaching for you. So you make, you have your death moment. You have your transformative moment. You make this decision. And that's when your new change, um, the powerful change occurs in your life. Now let's just see, let's go into your second row here and see if that's kind of what you're wanting to do. You know, cause that's the thing, like, um, you could like it says expect a powerful change and the end of a tough cycle approaching but doesn't talk about what this new change entails right um your second row kind of it's like an interesting energy <laughs> and so it's like that's why i'm kind of like speaking in this kind of like neutral place when it comes to looking at the kind of energy and direction that seemingly you guys are going in because i feel like i'm just kind of like observing like something already in the happening for you. I don't feel like this reading is really going to be changing your direction any much at all. So you have the Ten of Swords for your second row. I always associate tens with the end of a cycle, so it's fitting for your second row to have like the energies to come. It's fitting with your death card, right? Um, and then you have Knight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. And for clarifiers, oh my lord. <laughs> okay. How are we going to process this, Scorpio? Oh, Scorpio, <laughs> I'm like having a moment trying to figure out how to like relay this message because I'm taking this in a way, but I'm not entirely sure. So again, this is going to be a situation where it's going to be like a collaborative effort here because I feel like how I'm processing these cards and how I'm taking these cards is like, you know, it could be different for other people, right? I'll just tell you how I'm seeing it and why. So with the Ten of Swords here, it's the end of a cycle. Um, you have all these swords, it's kind of like, considering like your last energy, like the energy from your first row, it's kind of like you kind of take the blow. You take the blow and that's where the powerful change happens, where it's just kind of like you bite the bullet sort of thing. That's kind of what I keep hearing, it's like you biting the bullet on something. But in Knight of Swords, it's kind of like a something you don't feel comfortable doing, almost. Or not necessarily biting the bullet that you're not comfortable with doing, but it's almost like this new change is like uncomfortable for you. Now, I'm not here to say if that's a bad discomfort for you or not. Obviously, you'll know in your situation, but you have the Wheel of Fortune. And this is kind of where it's telling me that it's like, a, I don't know how to feel about it, sort of. And that's why I'm not like jumping up and down being like, oh, transformative time for you, uh, Scorpio is perfect for you. Because it's just like, I don't, I don't know. I pulled some clarifiers for you. You have your Empress card and your Emperor card, right? So it's just like... Um, powerful energy, seemingly, right? And then we have the Ace of Discs, and it's actually uh, uh, inverted. And so it's like, when I see th this kind of, tr like, this trio of cards, I'm clarifying this trio of cards, your middle row, it's like showing to me where it's like this new, this powerful change that happens. Like, it's kind of like the energy that I see where you guys are going through, Scorpio. It's like this powerful change happens. You take the blow on something. You really, like, it's like this some type of, like, a. you're adopting, like, this new energy, this new path of, like, discomfort, which doesn't have to inherently be bad, right? I'm not trying to say it's good or bad. I'm just saying, like, it, you, it's, like, an unforeseen kind of thing, right? Because of the Wheel of Fortune. It's not promising the sun. You're just actively, you, this, you're just taking the steps to think of where you think your sun is 
sort of thing. Does that make sense? Um, if your sun card was in your last, in this row, in your last card, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, you're going to your blessings. But the Wheel of Fortune can be positive or negative. So keep that in mind. So when I have this, when I have the Emperor card and the Empress card, um, this could be in two, a couple of different ways. This could be involving um, the Ten of Swords situation, where it's like you take the blows with this person because that's where the um, Emperor card was. Whereas like you were taking the blows because the Emperor card is on top of the Ten of Swords. So it's like, almost as if like you are owning that Emperor energy, taking the blows. The Knight of Swords energy comes in and this is where the Empress card was on top of it. So it's like, a, I don't know if where it's like, it's almost like a discomfort with somebody. Um, and like it's there's like a discomfort with somebody else or like some type of discomfort involving another party or involving another thing does that make sense so if it's like a situation it's like a discomfort in like a new workplace or a discomfort with um a new environment and discomfort with like whatever it's just like there's like there's some type of discomfort associated with directly linked to something it's not just like a generalized environment you can kind of hone it on in on something there's something that you can like base it off on if that makes sense and then you have the ace of coins and the ace of coins inverted which ace of coins if it was upright that would be beautiful because that's like the blank check being handed to you right that's how like that's what the hand represents it's just like they're handing you this blank check you get to decide how much um it's worth but when it's inverted it was on top of the wheel of fortune this leads me to believe that i almost want to give you the suggestion scorpio um write out a plan have a plan I keep on like feeling the need to ask you to just have everything written out because I'm not saying one way or another whether it's inherently bad or not right like right like I said I just feel as if like if you had everything written out of like what you want to do what you want to have accomplished talking it out like whatever um just having a fully fleshed out plan and really thinking everything through before you make a decision on something before you do make that decision think about the cause and effect of things i guess is all i'm gonna try to say um again i don't see it neg bad necessarily bad or um good necessarily i just see as like this energy these cards are bringing it in as a very like skeptical energy if that could be as neutral as possible if that makes sense scorpio i'm just being as honest as i can with you because i mean if i wasn't being honest with you i could just easily put this as like a clickbait and be like oh yeah just go to your blessings scorpio like a week of blessings but it's just like no like i'm trying to give you some substance here. i'm trying to really just give you like a heads up of like what you know just like what's going on to the best of my ability i guess scorpio um, I'm just being honest with you. I, don't, I guess it's more so like just don't charge in head first, really. I'm gonna close that row off though. For your last row, we have the Three of Wands. Um, this is gonna be the row that you need to work, uh, energy suggestion from spirit, your spirit guides, um, spirit and all that, um, of what you should be working on this week. So we have for your row, Three of Wands, Queen of Discs, and the Star card. Star card keeps popping up for people. Um, how I'm processing this, it's like the Three of Wands, there's like, again, there's like some, like, there's like some type of interaction going on here. Um, maybe it's like a collaborative thing because you have the Queen of Discs. It's like a collaborative thing. It's almost as if like, yeah, like, um, you know how I was talking just about like, ha like having it written out in front of you, Scorpio. It's almost like this, this is kind of, this is kind of like the setup of where it's like you're talking it out with somebody, right? Of like your game plan, the queen of discs, like you're, um, notice also like the owl, owl there paying attention as well. Like the queen of discs is not alone. That's a common theme with this. It's like, there's like always another party involved, right? And even in the star card as well, there's a dog. There's always another energy involved. So I feel like you need to talk to people <laughs> the little, like yeah like i feel like this is just like a, a week for you to really just talk things out allow people in to really get their insight on things i guess um because that was just like the common theme for all of it there's just like a constant presence of other energies in like all of your cards if you'll notice right even in the empress card there's multiple little demon babies whatever that is lover like there's everything have like an underlying extra energy to it right your empress and emperor um your clarifiers 
yeah, this is just such a push for you to like start collaborating with other parties and start really getting other people's perspectives this week, Scorpio. That's what I would be suggesting to you is getting other people's perspectives this week and seeing, you know, just getting other people's perspectives. You don't have to listen to them. Just having like a broader perspective for how you potentially might want to handle your own situation. Does that make sense? Um, but yeah, that's the reading that I have for you, Scorpio. I'm going to close it off with a mess, uh, one more card. Um, but I hope this reading was of resonance to you. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't give like a much more <laughs> like flashy or bubbly reading, but I feel like this kind of reading would just be more of substance to you guys. The Animal Kingdom card. So I feel drawn that's a sign from Spirit for me to pull a few animal cards for you. Um, and usually whenever the Animal Kingdom card comes out, that's like really a heavy emphasis on the messages that from the spirit animals. So we have the tiger card. You're being called upon to provide leadership. So trust that you're capable of doing so. Um, and keep in mind, everything behind, like I always like to view this animal kingdom card whenever this comes out as like an amplifier, really like honing in on the messages of the animal cards. Um, you have the condor card. You're too enmeshed in the situation. So take a step back and see the bigger picture before taking it, making any decisions or taking action. It's literally what I was just saying, Scorpio. I could have just pulled this card and been like, your reading's done. Read this card and be like, your reading's done. So I'm glad I pulled this for you. And then for your last card, you have the weasel card. Be silent, pay attention, and simply observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. So yeah, you're just really being asked to just take a step back and observe. Take a step back and observe the situation before you just take action. It doesn't mean you're necessarily, like, there's nothing here, Scorpio, that's saying anything's inherently bad. I just feel like you need to get more information. I feel like you just need to be more prepared because maybe part of the reason why you haven't made a decision quite yet is because you just don't have enough information yet. So just gather more information this week before making a decision, Scorpio. I love you so much, Scorpio. This is all the cards that I have for you. I hope I can have the opportunity of providing another reading to you at some point. Again, um, if this reading did give you some clarity, please give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel so much. I love you so much, Scorpio. I'll connect to you soon. Bye.